going on, people? Hope y'all doing fantastic. Today, I want to talk about Warren Buffett and buying into the Pilot Flying J Travel Center truck stop, right? Um, now, before I get started, I don't care nothing about Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett does not care anything about me. Uh, I'm not concerned about whether Warren Buffett is any a part of any secret society like the 33rd Degree Masons or the Illuminati or anything like that. Um, I'm just using him as an example uh, for what I want to talk about. And I don't know why he bought into this, um, you know, the pilot Flying J. But from what I've seen, this is my analysis, right? Trucking is a multi-billion dollar industry. So all these little, not little, but all these truck drivers need a place to stop, get fuel, park, get something to eat, and so on and so forth. All those things that you do at the truck stop, right? Well, look at a truck stop as a distribution center. That's basically what it is. You have all these products targeted to a certain industry, which is the multi-billion dollar trucking industry, right? You guys follow me? So that's one aspect of it. So you got parking, which a lot of truck stops are uh, charging for parking now. You got food, drinks. Uh, some truck stops have services. Um, and then... Uh, you may find like little shops and things like that. So basically it's a distribution center. Now, the stocks that I know Warren Buffett owns, they can be put into a truck stop. So you're looking at, uh, I think he owns Coca-Cola. I think, I don't know. I, I, I could be wrong. Could be Coca-Cola, could be Pepsi, whatever, right? He owns, I think, like I heard Dairy Queen or something like that, which I wouldn't be surprised if they start putting Dairy Queens in, you know, the Pilot Flying J. I don't think they have them, at least the ones I've been to, I don't think has them. But there's all that stuff. But the big one I wanted to focus on for this video is fuel. Because Pilot Flying J, or Pilot, yeah, Pilot Flying J, they're the biggest transporter of diesel fuel. Multi-billion dollar industry, biggest transporter of diesel fuel, Pilot Flying J, right? Now, I'm pretty sure Warren Buffett has some uh, oil stocks. So, again, it's a monopoly. It's all across the board. He's using the, the you know, cashing in on the, the truck stop because it's a distribution center. So, you ain't got to go far to have your money working for you. You get what I'm saying? So that's all. This is a short, quick video I wanted to talk about, you know, Warren Buffett and stuff like that. Uh, I don't want to get into detail because, I, like I said, I don't really care nothing about Warren Buffett. But we can look at what Warren Buffett is doing, and we can also model what he is doing, even if you're a single truck owner-operator, right? Or thinking about becoming a single truck owner-operator. Oh, how, brother man, tell me. Don't leave me hanging. Don't just give me the, the little bit and cut it off. All right, here's how, here's how you can do it, right? Now, I used to do this, right? It's about distribution. Let's say you pick up a load at point A, raw product, right? You take the raw product to another facility. They process the product and put it in some packaging. Now... It goes from that facility to another facility, right? Now, at this facility, they change the packaging, put a different label on it, right? Now, it's all ready to go for retail. Now, what you do is, from that facility, it goes to another facility, right? And where it gets, you know, that's the, 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 end, the, the end of that, you know, particular product, right? What you can do is you can look at different industries where you can take raw product from one place to another place to another place to another place and then, you know, complete the, complete the cycle like that. I'm not going to tell you what the product is, um, but I can tell you, just look at the different industries. Like, I was at a, I was at, last week I was picking up at um, 
uh, one of these chicken houses down in um, Southern Delaware. I think it was a Delaware. Amer it was in Southern Delaware. So you had grain trucks coming in. You had um, grain trucks coming in, different types of grain because the chickens need to eat, right? Uh, well, feed trucks, I'll just say feed trucks, right? Feed trucks coming in, raw product coming in, processes the chicken. You know, they feed it to the chicken, they process the chicken. Now the chicken needs to be loaded onto a reefer truck. Or uh, if their process is there, or they load the, the chicken out and on the, you know, see them in the cages, they send it somewhere else, right? Well, out of all that stuff, now creates a byproduct of, you know, chicken manure, then the blood and stuff like that. So if you hit all these, you have a trucking company, you have the potential to hit all these angles, so you don't have to necessarily be looking on the load boards. That's a whole video of itself. But you have to look at this stuff differently. At least I do. This is the way I look at things. Okay, this is doing this, this is doing that. Well, if I get in here with this, then that will set me up to potentially work on this thing and that thing like that, like that. So it's about distribution. Don't A lot of people are focused on the thing. Uh, don't focus on the thing, focus on the process. And once you understand the process of how things start to work and flow and things like that, that will put you in a different level than the people that are just focused on, okay, uh, what type of truck should I buy? A new truck or old truck? <laughs> buy one, do whatever you can afford, and we'll get the job done. That's all. Um, Maybe you need to watch this video, you know, a couple times to actually get what I'm getting. I didn't really, I know it was all over the place, but, you know, you'll get what I'm saying. All right. And for you new subscribers, thanks for subscribing. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.